Meanwhile, America is gearing up for its presidential election. In November, the U.S. will host its 60th presidential contest. But as time takes down for the main event, the American president, Joe Biden, has touted the manufacturing jobs created under his leadership. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Joe Biden has managed to create 776,000 jobs in the country. On the other hand, the incumbent President Biden is holding a one-point lead over former President Trump in a national survey as the two head towards a likely rematch in November. The Reuters Ipsos poll found Biden is leading Trump with 39% of support from registered voters compared to the former president's 38%. It is important to note that Biden's lead was within the survey's 1.8 percentage point margin of error. The one-week poll which closed this Wednesday also shows that 12% of its respondents said they don't know who they would vote for or would not vote at all, while 11% would back some other candidate than Joe Biden and Donald Trump, despite Biden and Trump setting up a sequel of the 2020 presidential elections, the road ahead for the duo will not be easy. Now, both candidates carry significant liabilities in the first U.S. presidential election rematch in nearly 70 years. Although this time around in 2024, voters are concerned about 81-year-old incumbent president's age. Questions are being regularly raised about his age. There are deep reservations about his ability to assume the presidency for four more years. While for Donald Trump, it is his upcoming four criminal trials, including charges of trying to overturn his 2020 election defeat. With many voters not convinced by either Trump or Biden, the new poll shows independent candidate Robert Kennedy Jr., backed by 15% of registered voters, should he appear as a third candidate on the ballot. Thank you, Cheryl Hines. People stop me everywhere at airports, at hotels, and malls on the street, and they remind me that this country is ready for a historic...